Welcome to the Filehold video tutorial on Smart Soft Capture. Smart Soft Capture is a data capture solution that helps automate the processing of form type documents such as invoices and work orders. It allows you to minimize costs, reduce indexing errors, and speed up your document processing. Now you can take advantage of this latest document recognition technology in combination with the Filehold document management software to automate document classification and storage. Today, I'm going to show you how to automatically extract data from scanned paper invoices. I can scan documents directly into SmartSoft Capture if my workstation is connected to a scanner by clicking Scan. Or I can open image or PDF files that have already been scanned and saved. Many documents can be opened and worked on at once. Now the software starts processing the invoices I have loaded. I can see the first page of the first document in the image panel on the right. In the middle is the form view panel. It contains data fields that would be filled with information from the scanned invoice. These data fields would correspond with the metadata fields in your document schema in file hold. On the left there is a preview of all loaded invoices so you can switch between documents and verify them easily. SmartSoft Capture combines both OCR with intelligent recognition technology to automatically detect the location of data on the page. You can see how the software has already filled some of the data in the appropriate fields. Now I'm going to verify the data to make sure it is correct. SmartSoft Capture is designed to save you as much time as possible, so it brings any potential data capture issues to your attention so that you can fix any discrepancies. Once you have trained the software, only the items in red require attention. Sometimes when you process certain documents for the first time, you may need to teach the software to recognize some fields properly. In this case, I need to fill in the vendor field with the correct value. I'm going to locate and select the area on the document that contains the correct information. I simply click the text. I do not have to type anything. See the large text area at the bottom of the form view? It helps to instantly verify the data in each field. Now I can see here the vendor name is still outlined in red, and that's because this vendor is not a part of my vendor list. This vendor list can be uploaded from a CSV file into the software. I can add this vendor to the list by simply right-clicking on the field and adding it to my list. And you can see now my vendor list now changes to green, and Imperial Trophies is now a part of my list of vendors. I can move between fields by pressing the tab button. Uh, so we can verify that the date is correct. We can also verify the invoice number is correct. And the total. So the total here is outlined in red. In order to verify that the total is correct, I need to hit my F3 key and you can see that it turns green, so it's now verified. You can also see in the corner of my invoice, in the session view, that it has changed to a check mark on the bottom corner of the page. This indicates that the document has been processed correctly. Now I can use the page up or the page down buttons to move between invoices. Again, we need to verify that this is correct. And notice here that it took me directly to the total after I have fixed the vendor because it knows that the other two fields are correct. So I'm going to hit F3 to verify the amount. You can see that it's very quick to process all of your invoices as the software does all the work. You can see now that the second invoice has a green check mark in the bottom right corner of the page. Now let's import other invoices from the same vendor to see what we have taught the software. The software knows where the data for each field is located on the document, so it automatically processes all other invoices of this type. I don't need to click in the data areas each time as SmartSoft Capture remembers the different document types I work on. So for this invoice, all I have to do is verify the amount. And then for my last invoice, I just need to verify the amount again. And we're done. 
Once I have completed the processing of my invoices, I can export the extracted invoice data and PDF files directly into the FileHold document management software. To do that, all I have to do is click Export. In the FileHold desktop application, I need to set the format of the import to capture in the user preferences. I want to make sure I'm using the capture format, otherwise if I'm using the QuickScan Pro format, this import will not work. Then I need to set up a managed import for my invoices. I've already set one up here. What the managed import allows me to do is to map my SmartSoft Capture form fields to my metadata fields of my invoice schema. So I have an import name, and we can add a description here. And the select folder containing import file, we want to make sure that the import is actually pointing to the XML file that SmartSoft Capture created. So here it is here. I just simply need to select that. And you only have to do this once, once this manage import has been set up. I can automate things a little bit so I can watch for files to be automatically imported and also delete any input files once they've been successfully added into file hold. And this will keep that folder nice and clean. In the field mapping tab, all we have to do is map our form fields from our SmartSoft capture to our metadata fields in file hold. Invoice date to invoice date, invoice number to invoice number, amount, and vendor. There's some additional automation you can set up, just database lookup and auto filing, but I'm just going to send everything to my inbox right now for processing. Now I'm going to go ahead and run this manually. Again, this could be something that is done automatically. And we can see that four documents were brought into the system, and they're going to be in my inbox. Here they are here. If I open up the metadata pane, we're going to see that the information that was captured in the SmartSoft Capture automatically populated my metadata fields inside a file hold. So I had to do no document classification inside a file hold. Now once that my documents have made it inside a file hold, I just simply need to set a destination folder for my documents. And I'm just going to put them in this folder right here and send them. Now I have set up a naming pattern for my schema so that the file names that you saw on my documents automatically got renamed once they've made it inside a file hold according to this pattern I have set up. Thank you for watching our video tutorial on SmartSoft Capture. For more information about SmartSoft Capture and File Hold, contact sales at filehold.com or visit our website at www.filehold.com.